the best or most skilled players. It's like yeah. they're the most winningest players. Winning, right? Winningest Yeah, players. which is a world a word, by the way. Winningest? Most winningest Hold is on, indeed I'm a word up. slash phrase. Yeah. You know what? I'll take your word I, for it. Man. Yeah, I had to Google it myself the first time I heard it. <laughs> So yeah, just like you called it, man. We got Corn and Rosalina fighting off against Peach and Snake. This is the first time we're actually going to be seeing Snake today in doubles. Yeah, and we were talking about how this character might be a bit of a liability in some regard. You've got grenades, you've got C4s, you got mortars, all kinds of other stuff flying around that can make it difficult for your opponent to make or your partner to do what they're trying to do. But it's also very disruptive to the teammate or the opposing team. Sorry, guys. Words yeah. are also very difficult, just like playing with Snake and Doubles. Dude, honestly, but the thing is with Snake and Doubles is that Ally was the first, one of the first Snakes to do, do, do it in Doubles back in the Brawl days. So like, it's he's definitely in his element. Yeah, he has so much experience in this <laughs> format, right? And he and his brother, Holy Nightmare, yeah. used to be just a ridiculous force with Snake and Rob, Snake and Meta Knight, however you want to yeah, distribute sure. the characters. As long as he's got the synergy with his opponent, uh, his teammate, which so far, you know, not, not too many grenades coming out from Snake, which you probably won't see too often unless it's just like he's just dropping right there when it's clearly far away from his teammate, Sam Sora. Yeah, I like that he's using just one, yeah. lock off a certain space for the opponent, and then you also could be a liability to yourself, right, if you're yeah. getting blown up by stray hitboxes. But man, I don't know. Ally, the first one to actually drop a stock here and also notably playing the heaviest character on the screen. Right. Yeah, that's something I was just going to notice on the Snake's a big boy and he just got killed by the up air. Goes for the. Re almost thought about the re grab. He just kind of stood there. I guess he was just waiting for like a spot dodge or something, you know, like a, a, like a roll. He wanted up tilt no matter yeah. how you slice. Yeah. Ally was looking to take a stock in just that situation. And honestly, it, it's still a very powerful move back from its olden days. Maybe not as godly. Oh. Speaking of which, it's a good, great anti-air. Both blue team players losing their stocks immediately. They jump back into this. Four stocks apiece. Both teams. And down air out of shield is really good for being able, even if they don't, are, even if they're holding shield, it applies a lot of shield pressure. Able to get those pokes as well on the sides. Okay, Nair out of shield coming out from Sam Sword, just trying to push the buzz off of him. Buzzby himself. Didn't expect the second swing coming out from Snake. I managed to just kind of, kind of go for the overhead swing, pushing the buzz off stage. Stage control in favor of Red Team. Again, Ali just throwing off grenades. And the buzz just put, uh, scooping him up. Yeah, I like that with the gravitational pull. Turning it into a little mini game over yeah. there on the edge. But Ally just going to find another up tilt. No surprise there. And Cosmo stuck in Dragon Fang Shaw over on the left side of the stage. Going to get blown up. And that grenade timed out. Okay, we're still chilling here, going for the down air out of shield yet again. A very quick option for Ally to go for. He's stuck in that shield animation, going off super. Wow. He loves that. Who stop. does that? Who does that? Ally, you are crazy. And Corrin just without the distance to recover right there. Then I fall to his last thought, Cosmos. What? And now the buzz eliminated. Wow, what a ridiculous turnaround, man. This was not so one sided at all in the beginning. Oh, wow, Alex, nope. so smart with the shield timing right yep. there. Just knew I'm going to hold, respect the grenade, respect the counter afterward. I like how he, he re because he respected the counter, that was like Samsor's time to shine, get the double combo coming up. This is looking like a dead core and goes off stage with a back air. That is it. Game one, a four stock. That was so close in the beginning. And then yeah. you got four stocks left for Ally and Samsor going to be able to just shut Cosmos and Nebus down in this best, this first to three set. Now Cosmos and Nebus might want to switch some characters up here. Maybe we'll see. They've, I mean, they've been rocking these characters the whole time, so we'll just see what happens. Because like the, the, that ending was very explosive, quite literally. Yes, it was. Man, Ally and Sam Sora, definitely kind of an oddball team, right? Like, yeah. Not from a region particularly close to each other. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I've really seen them interact all that much outside of the game. But That's then there I was then there was that one combo that Ally landed on Sam Sora. We all saw it on Twitter last week. Dropped the C4 all the way down, blew him up. He just was so to impressed. Sticky him. Yeah, that was so ridiculous. Sansaro was so impressed that he won the team with him later. Right, like, I right. can't believe that. You hit me with that? That was. Can we do that again except with someone else together? Yeah, I wouldn't blame you for saying that, that was the case there. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You're going to jump back out of the game, too. We have a character swap coming out. We got a uh, Cosmos opting to go for Inkling. So I guess Corrin's not the way, but the buzz going also to Pilotana. Like, just like I thought. It, it, it seemed a little bit too destructive for them to not want to swap characters. We're going to go to Town and City instead. Big open stage. Yeah, that was unreasonably dominant. So yeah. I, I got to give them credit for knowing when to switch it up. And the Buzz, Politana, I'd say this is his third best character at this point. Mm -hmm. He used her a lot in the beginning of the game, then started naming Olimar. Then, out of nowhere, started bringing the Rosalina back a bit. Right. But, man, this for doubles, I think this is probably his best call. Yeah, I mean, Paolo's just a strong doubles character in general. She's got a lot going for her, especially that up smash for team combos. 
and the explosive flame yeah. control from behind. Right. Not a lot of characters can do that. You've got like Rob, whose laser will just go through everything, but this doesn't even run the risk of hitting your partner in the process. Right. Either way, she's the first one to lose the stock well, here, so I mean, throw everything we just sent out the window, man. Sometimes it'd just be like that. And there we go again, trying to get that up smash off stage. Instead of trying to go after Inkling, they have to go for the uh, little bit of pressure there. We saw the trying to protect his teammate. Oh, ally with the air dodge just in time. Oh, no! Cosmo's actually saving him right there yeah. with the super jump. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Ally probably would have had to do a lot more work to recover with the C4. And you oh. know, it was... What the... I think it was explosive flame. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think. I don't know. I saw it just as fading away. Man. Something exploded ally. Yeah. Exploding snake. Yeah, N not, not a rare sight. Right, but we, not in that yeah, fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Might have detonated his own C4. Oh, the buzz going to miss the edge there. That was super unfortunate, man. Really tough break that these guys are meeting. And uh, something I want to comment on is that, like, Peach against uh, Inkling right there for a second. You saw her floating in the air very close to the ground. Roller won't really do much to her in that case. So it's a really smart, like, ability for her to be able to go for it against the likes of Inkling. We'll be seeing that a lot. Here we go. More up air action on that platform. Seeing the chase down begin on Ally. Cosmo's trying to close him out early again, but we saw what happened last time. An accidental save kept this man alive for just a bit too long. Oh, up throw, up air. It's actually extremely easy to land on Snake. He has the widest range yep. that that will combo on him, but Cosmo's messing it up. Yeah, Probably that, unable to see at the top of the screen. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Just whipping the Booyah when you're in that big magnifying glass. You just kind of have to guess sometimes. They're trying to jump out of shoot a little bit too early. You see Sam Sora killing a disadvantage state against uh, Cosmos. I'm... I refuse to call out the Booyah. The Booyah? Sorry, I Why? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that term? This is just, you know, another hoo-ha. I get it. I feel it. We got more up air action coming out. Avoid the buzz. Trying to get some more damage. Both players playing extremely safe. You'll see uh, Pilot's going to go for Nair at a shield a lot of the times. It's a very quick burst get off me option. This is some big damage, but that's the buzz's final stock, and he's out of there. Cosmos is dead as well. Game two. Oh, wait, hold on. He's living on a prayer. 83%, but still, three stocks to one. All right, we got the splatter shot. Oh, it's so annoying to get yeah. through that, but <laughs> we got a pink peach now. All right. Uh, ro rose pink uh, peach. Yeah, Good right, character. yeah. Good tech. I was just trying to survive for as long as possible, but on the ledge against these two characters just seems pretty brutal. Lay him down, cover all the options. Aww. Yes, he was trapped. Yeah, you had nowhere to go. Maybe if you stood up. Yeah. But that's a pretty brave choice. Get up attack. Yep. All right, 2-0 lead for Ally and Samsora now. And that's what you got to do with those down throws, man. You saw Samsora was in the right spot at the right time, had that roll option covered on the right without holding that up smash. And uh, I, I, I don't know what Cosmos and the Buzz are going to have to do here. Oh. Well, I see Cloud. That was a good one. Maybe that's, maybe that's a sign. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll see what happens here. We're going to stick with the Inkling. You see the Buzz switching up tags, so maybe there's a third character coming out. Maybe the Olimar. Uh, buzz O is Olimar, Buzz R is Rosa, and Buzz P is yeah. Palutena. It's very interesting. Buzz O. Different character or different tags for every character. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it's probably optimal sometimes. When it's just like, you know, there's some characters that just don't really thrive off tilts but love smash attacks. You know, right, that right. That C-Stick matters. We have a team swap as well. They're going to go over to Yellow Team as well just to try to help them out with the color system because of the way Alhamar looks. But here we go. The last the, the last try to see if this works out or not. Alhamar coming into the table, got the Pikmin out and about. Now it's gonna be kinda hard to just try to like, you know, the, the, the way that the buzz plays with Alhamar, not exactly like the best format for doubles, but it's still his best character. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I have to agree with that. He's basically just sticking to his own. Uh, it's a comfort pick. Yeah. yeah. Running in, trying to apply a lot of pressure, goes for the purple Pikmin and try to like, apply some shield pressure against Ally off stage. Honestly, at this point, Ally has the ability to just like drop that grenade and just run away and go help out his teammate. And that's something he'll do a lot of the time. It's like, you know, if I can't go for this edge guard and just try to go for a 2v1 on the opponent instead, might as well. Alright, we've got each team picking a side of the stage, but little sloppy communication. It's going to end with Ally losing a stock somehow. Yeah. That Ford was so error. bizarre. Yeah, I feel like there's a, a sus DI happening. He just went flying. Going to go trying to get the combos out the explosion. Using the whistle super armor to go power through that hit. Get back down on the ground. Ally trying to stall out that second swing of uh, forward tilt. 
All right. Old Pikmin latching on during the Makita. Ally desperately trying to close the buzz out here, but he's going to miss him entirely. How did he make that back? That was nuts. Yeah, Omar with no Pikmin could fly for so yeah. long, man. Those wing Pikmin, man, they're worth their weight, man. Oh, just pick up Olimar himself. Here we go. In the forward tilt, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be a dead Cosmos, man. I saw the up smash, too, and Peach going right into yeah. it. I thought Peach was going to lose the stock there, but, man, this is just insane. Sam Sora and Ally, really high percents. But, of course, they have the stock advantage right now, so they just need to play as best as they can, batter up their opponents with some damage if they want to close the 3-0 out. Ally kind of stuck on the, own plat or on the platform with his own grenades right there. Sam Sora goes down. He's got a blue ready to go. Might be looking for those grabs as well. Ally sitting at 148%. Tender Titan gets rollered, and Sam Sora gets caught in the process. Jeez, that was... Ridiculous right yeah. there. Got the Olimar pick, it seems to be working out here. Sometimes comfort's more important. I'm trying to like force like a team synergy. Right. No, everybody's on the yellow team. Yeah. Peach included. Yep. See the ink starting to fall off her. Yeah. That's crucial though, because the more ink on there, the bloodier yeah. the hits are, you know what it's I'm just saying? Just like turf war, man. Yeah. You go, you see him trying to apply pressure with the purple Pikmin and using the forward air against the shield. Trying to fit away, but nice pickup from Sam Sword. Going to be able to catch that ledge option with the crown. Playing super Ooh. safe. That was disgusting. Cosmos trying to swing an aerial on the way down to no avail. Just going to get clipped with that beautiful anti-air ally has. And now, I don't know, man. Three stocks to two. All that damage. We've got the trades coming out. Ally, are you going to have to share stock from Sam Sword? Uh-oh. C4, but is he no. going to go? He used his air dodge, too, and the C4 probably would have been untackable. So now we're going right. to see Sam Sora try to kill time, stay evasive. He's not want to drop his last stock here. And honestly, that was probably smart of Ally not to go for the C4 because he wanted to die faster to realize so he can get back into the game and help Sam Sora because every second matters. Town and City platform actually coming in extra clutch right there for Sam Sora. Giving him another way back to the stage. More friendly fire, though. Don't want that at this stage of the match, man. This is your moment. Yeah. Your moment to shine, man. Move on to the brackets. Very important. And it's a forward air. I think he's out of jumps. Has to go for the up B. Nice call out from wow. Cosmos. Chasing off super deep to get that kill against Ally. Now we got Sam Sora at 126%. He's on the stage. This is going to be incredibly tough for him to try to get something. Forward airs. This is his moment to shine. Go for the 1v1 against Cosmos or try to go for the edge guard against Olimar. I like that. Not deciding to overcommit. Would have yeah. made it easier for the other teammate to come and hit him. Right. Oh, and back air. That'll do it. All right, we're going to a fourth game. No 3-0 here. I felt like, honestly, Cosmos felt like the MVP that game. Because he, he, he got so many KOs just going off stage, getting the forward airs, getting the back airs. Look at that, five KOs, five of the six. I knew he was wow. like on, he was on a, he was on a rampage, man. With Inkling, too, the least power hit yeah. kind of character on the screen. Really good against abusing players off stage. And that's exactly what he was doing. Both Snake and Cosmo, uh, Sam Sora were just like destructive off there, especially against Ally, man. I feel like Ally just couldn't get back against the stage against Cosmos every yeah. single time. Like, Sam Sora could not get over there as well because DeBuzz was doing a fantastic job of doing a 1v1 against Sam Sora, so he wasn't able to go over there and assist. All right. Fourth and potentially final game here, but I like the switches from yeah. uh, uh, Cosmos and DeBuzz. Olimar and Inkling, of course, really, really solid characters overall. Though I do like that they got through most of this doubles bracket with their original mains. Yeah. I, I, I think there's, there's something uh, sweet about that, you know? There is, yeah. Like, you hold them try and true to your heart. Like, do they still help you out when you least expect it? But well, we're going to go back into this. Snake and Peach coming back up. Got a counter pick coming out from Ally and Sam Sora again. This is going to be another, just a, a bloodbath, if you will. A, a lot of fisty cups coming out. Yeah, of course. Small stage. And I feel like DeBuzz and Ally both can't really fall back on that zoning strategy they normally would use in singles. Of course, they got to get their hands dirty in a match yeah. like this. Oh, love that jab, stuffing out the jump from the edge from Ally. Just hold A for that machine gun jab. I know, man. He honestly, does that, that, that's one of the weirdest mechanics in the game, just oh, holding I love A. It. I love it. <laughs> it's so funny to see. Yeah, it finds the holes in defensive options yeah. very easily, you know. Just repeatedly active hit boxes over and over again. That's right. Okay, we got a jab lock coming out from Busby over here. The forward air against Peach. Up tilt. Wants to go for a second one. That's what that's gonna be something that's really strong for Snake on this stage. Is if there's someone chilling right above him on that platform, up tilt can easily reach. Try to sneak some kills. It's the parry, and that's gonna be a dead inkling. Oh, how I blowing himself up. So a little bit accidental. See him trying to chase after him. Goes for the up smash with the purple Pikmin, getting all that knockback. He is dead? 
Yes. Forward throw, up air. Wow. Clean handoffs yeah. here from the yellow team. Team Nautilus, Ally waiting for his teammate to get back onto the stage. They're coming back in a big way here. Potentially game five on the horizon. I don't know. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. You see Debuzz obviously throwing all this picking away to go back to the other side of the stage where Cosmos was. So he just wanted to try to like rendezvous with his teammate. Ooh, Pikmin throw and Nefair on the shield. Now that the Pikmin actually collide with the shield, it's very interesting. Yeah. Instead of just like ignoring it outright. Yeah, I don't think it changes too much, but it certainly feels a little bit different it's when, you, bizarre. when you go for side B and Nefair. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess you do incur shield sub, so it makes it different. He's right. actually trying to play a little bit drifting. There we go. Gets the kill. Ally so good at finding those up tilts out of every situation, man. Oh, and his shield almost broke. That was scary. Using the Pikmin to block straight into the grenade explosion, but man, just not going to pan out for him. Man, why doesn't Purple Pikmin just break shields on forward smash and pull? Yeah, uh, right? I don't know. Yeah, remember who yeah. said that? I, Anyways. I no idea. Yeah, 104% on Cosmos. Inkling. We chilling out here. Three stocks apiece. Pretty even in percent. Like a tied game. We see Cosmo trying to get that tech, or trying to get the kill, but good tech coming out from uh, your boy Sam Sora. Yeah, if Cosmos can hang on for a little bit longer, then I think it's going to go well for them. But just as I say that, he gets deleted by the up tilt. The famous up tilt again coming out from Ally Snake. I'm super deep. That's going to be a dead peach in the horizon. Three stocks to two, but Debuzz is at high percent. Picks up the grenade by accident, trying to go for the forward air. It's going to be the, Oh, nice call out from Ally. Reads the tech roll, gets yet another up tilt against the Buzz. And now we got a 2v1 situation against England before the Buzz brings back onto the stage. All right, this is down to the wire here. Red team or yellow team. We're going to see another game or a new set. Well, thing is, it looks like the yellow team is going to be trying to target Ally because he's at super high percent. Gets the up throw, up air combo against him. Oh, Sam Sora frame trapping Cosmos so well on the way down there. Ooh, oh, friendly God. fire with the grab. That was dangerous because he had the roller out, so Ally just going for the burst dash attack option, which he hasn't really done too often in this game. I saw Ally sticky somebody, but I don't know who, and I don't know where that is. I yeah. thought it was Sam Sora. I wonder if they know. Yeah. They Someone is sticky. probably don't. And it might have just fallen off. Or maybe it was just like the false animation and it went right. somewhere else. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I definitely saw that happen. I'm waiting for it, dude. Oh, this is so intense. Anyone could die at any moment. It's going to be Cosmos to go out first. Oh, oh and the down tilt to the fit. Oh, it was on was Sam Sora. <laughs> it was on Sam Sora. <laughs> wow. I was like, how did that connect so quickly? But yeah, that was the C4 right there. He, oh, my God. And I, one thing I realized is that uh, Ally never put a C4 on Sam Sora that entire time because that's like a cool like little thing that you can do when you just run up there yeah. and just sticky against your, the opponents which is actually kind of a valid strategy. Wait for the last moment. Even though Sam Sora did get the forwarder, wanted to throw off that C4 just in case or to just mess around because they won the game. Right. One of the two.